Hey guys, let's talk about the Tapo C200 now recording. Basically, you need to check if the camera is recording to the SD card or into the cloud. When you're using an SD card, you need to use a good one like this, for example. This is Alexa with 32 gigabytes. It's a fast card. I'll leave the link here in the description. So just insert the card into the camera and then you need to get and check with your app. So here I have the Tapo app. When I open it up, you see there is an SD card there and I just need to format it, right? And I have the option here to go to settings and then just need to come here to storage and recording. And from here on the local storage, you have this button to format the SD card, okay? So just click on it, format the SD card. So every time you insert a new SD card into the camera, you need to format it first. That's a good idea. So it's pretty fast to format, doesn't take that long. And just make sure that you have a good SD card as well, because that helps to keep your data safe, okay? So here it's okay. And now I have here the storage capacity, zero gigabytes, so of 27.80. This card is 32 gigabytes, right? And then when you come back here, you see local storage is good. Local recording is also enabled here and record sound as well. So I'm good to go from here, but don't forget to come here and check other things like uh, detection, for example. If detection is enabled, you just need to select the area that you want to detect motion. And here you can also check the tracking motion if it's available, motion detection. Here it's enabled as well. So I'm good to go here with the motion in person detection enabled and also the sensitivity is good. And you can uh, enable camera tampering if you want to. Somebody blocks your camera. You can see that the camera is blocked. Okay, you can get an alarm and start recording as well. And also baby crying if you want to monitor and record a baby crying, for example. Those are the options. Okay, and you're good to go. Basically it's this, and if it's still not working and then you need to come here and check for the firmware update. So usually it's the latest thing that you do, uh, but you can check here for update. In my case, the camera is up to date. No need to update the firmware here. Okay, so I'm good to go. And when there's recording there, I'm gonna check here from playback and download. And also don't forget, when you're checking here your recordings, there's an option here for card, the SD card, and also for the cloud. So check on both if you have a plan for uh, the cloud storage, right? You just need to check here. If you have just SD card, just check here to see if it's good, right? So basically that's it. You can have your camera recording with SD card if everything's good, if it's also here set for motion detection. If it doesn't work anyway, you just replace your SD card or you check with the manufacturer to replace the camera. Hope this helps. Please leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next one.